Hey, what's up, my little hunters? It's your boy Mikiru Shioto, and today I will be reviewing the DC Multiverse Omega. So let's take a look at that box. Um, you can build Bane, and we have a card back there, base down there. Nothing much more at the top other than Batman last night on Earth. On the side, Omega. Batman, Last Night on Earth, twice. On the back, we get a picture, or a bigger picture of the card. It tells you what comes with who. You get to build Bane, and these are the other figures. Uh, I do have Diana. I had the chance to get Scarecrow, and I didn't, because, yeah, didn't think I actually was going to get two out of four of the figures, so I might get him when I get the chance. Might. This one's going to be a lot harder to find, though. But, yep, that's the back side. And we're back to the front. So let's get him out of the box and see what he comes with. And there is Omega outside of the box and everything included. So let's get to the accessories. So we have a pair of Fisted hands. Let's see if I can get that. Focus on the fist. Not on my palms. Focus on the fist. Focus. There we go. So we got a pair of fisted hands. We get a base. Very cool. I think it's called Tapographed. Tapographed, whatever. DC logo. And that's actually pretty much the same as the one you get with Talking Laura. And considering this is a McFarland Toys, that kind of makes sense. And then we have Bane's right and left leg. Um, I will say this right now. I do not like the asymmetry. I'd like to get that out now. But looking at the leg and the sculpting of the leg. Very cool. Um... Jean detail, love the boot, guard, strap, what, well, the straps of the boot, guard, shin guard, really good looking boot, love the stiffness, this is a little scary, amazing bottom of the boot detail, he does have a peg, I don't know why he would have a peg, but whatever, really good paint apps and uh, if I do get um, Scarecrow and the Batman who seems to be from an insane an insane asylum I will review those plus this Bane build a figure from DC so there's that leg and then we have this leg like I said, not too happy with the asymmetry, but I do love the design of the boot. Um, it is kind of wonky because this line lines up just fine, but the way you, that I have it, yeah, the, the lines don't stay lined up. You will always have one line that is, like, not completely lined up. You can't get both lines lined up because there's a slight clicky joint in the ankle. I stand corrected. Make a liar out of me. But, yep. So, that's it for those. And then we do get the card. It has the same picture from it. It says, Bat Omega, Batman, Last Night on Earth. And we got some stuff in the back. And then on the back it says Source Batman Last Night on Earth number three comics twenty twenty. Real name Bruce Wayne, which means that this is a bad bat. Anyway, height six two or one point eighty eight meters tall, weight two hundred ten pounds or ninety five kilograms, and the bio reads, in a dystopian future, after the fall of the heroes, a new evil rose in Gotham.
calling himself Omega. Empowered with the anti-life equation, he reigns supreme over the entire East Coast. Now Omega is rumored to have gained the means to control the minds of every living being on Earth. And it's up to Batman, Wonder Woman, and a brand new hero, brand, band of new heroes to defeat the worst villain ever known and free the world. And that's everything, so let's get to the figure, which is probably why you're here. So right off the bat, I will say that I initially picked this up just because of one thing. Black and red. Very awesome. Very awesome. So, let's get a closer look at that head sculpt. So I will say I love the fact that this bat, this evil Batman looks pissed off, even for Batman. And then we got this really cool bat symbol, which pretty much takes up his entire arm. That was really cool. Love the Omega Beam, or whatever the heck these little zigzags are. I love them. Goes down the entire figure. A little bit of paint scuff that might be my fault. I did previously open this guy, but I put him back in the box just for this review so that you guys could see what he looks like in the box. Um, mine did come with this peg popped out. I don't know how to get it back in, and it kind of scares me to bend the arm because I feel like it's not really secured. So, and I know that's just with my copy. I've seen others at the store they didn't have it but yeah so we got that bat symbol continues on to the back um very small cape this cape actually kind of threw me for a loop because in the box he didn't look like he had a cape but when you look at the card he has this really cool looking cape and i'm like there's no cape on this guy there's a cape it's just so freaking well hidden so very, very uh, nice soft plastic, the bat, but nothing really back here. That kind of threw me for a loop too. I was like, there's nothing back here. It's just plain black plastic, but we got all this nice detail up front. It's like Kevlar or whatnot. So moving on to the articulation, um, the head appears to be on a ball joint and you can get him to do the, I'm going to kill your ass kind of thing. Or the, what? What do you mean that look like Batman kind of thing? Uh, can turn side to side. Looks up about that far. Let's see if I can push it further back. Yep, that's all the further up it goes. Down. Not yet. All the way down. And then moving on to a superior form of the greatest joint that could ever exist on a figure. It is a little difficult to do with one hand. I'll try to do it for you guys though, but yeah. Uh, as you can see, let's do this. Look at that. Amazing shoulder articulation, amazing. Double jointed elbow, and then I've never dealt with this kind of joint, so I don't know how I feel about it. But this joint is a ball joint at the end, so you get that wiggly waggly, <clears throat> sorry, wiggle. You get the wiggle. Stop moving, Omega. Got the ball joint, and then very stiff wrist joint. And that wrist joint actually pivots. So I don't know, whoops, I just busted off his hand. Don't know how I feel about this. Let's try to get that hand back on. Come on. Go back on. Go back on. Back on. Back on, bitch. We'll be back after these short messages. Just kidding. I don't even know if I get commercials on my videos. There we go, after a short pause. And then moving on to Ab, we can get him 
to do. Uh, come on. Bend forward. Bend forward. Dang it. That far forward. Not very far. Can't really do much, actually. But amazing arch at the back. Does have uh, rotation at the diaphragm and at the waist. It's a little stiff at the waist. It's hard to get the, the upper half to pivot much. Except for back and forth. So, do love the detail that it actually doesn't it doesn't break the lines. Like, there's very little gap. So, that's awesome. And then thighs. You can do the splits. Ah! Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's not right. It looks like he has a vagina. His butt cheeks should not do that. Is Omega a woman? I know it says Bruce Wayne, but uh, I don't know about you guys, but that looks like a clear line of the puss. Anyway, not too keen with the break here, but you know, this isn't fabric, it's plastic, so whatever. Um, limited thigh rotation, very difficult to work with. I would have preferred a thigh cut, but whatever. Uh, double jointed knee about that far due to the way that it was built and then we get ankle pivot it's on that similar ball joint toe bend rocker and I found out you can actually take this entire thing out you can literally take his foot out of his leg joint. I don't know how I feel about that. It's very disturbing to think that if you're a stop motioner, you could, you know, literally cut Omega's Batman, whatever you want to call him, evil Batman, Omega, whatever, you can cut this guy's foot off. So, that's everything. Um, I will say that upon first impressions, I wasn't too keen with him because I'm like, it's someone trying to be Batman. But after finding out that this is an evil Batman, I was a little bit more happy because I'm like, finally, an evil Batman figure. I can finally have Spider-Man or someone else beat him up. Because there was a time I used to hate Batman. Yes, okay, leave me alone. I hated Batman and now I'm starting to buy DC figures. I swapped over. DC is more mature. Marvel is working on being more mature. DC beat them to the punch on that behalf. But, yeah. Um, he definitely is in the Ghost Rider tier. Um, Red Fire Ghost Rider, by the way. Because posability is phenomenal. Although this one kind of just... Side note here, completely unnecessary side note here, but I feel that I need to show this off. I shall do it off camera. You cannot tell me that that, from the top, does not look like he is about to pull up Batman Beyond and spread his arms and the cape is going to be like a pair of wings. And no matter what you do, it looks phenomenal for a dive bomb. The cape might be a little short for some people's preferences, but still, a Batman diving headfirst into action and having the potential for the Beyond cape where it's small initially and then <laughs> big wings. Very much awesome. So that is it for Omega. Um... I'm kind of interested to read this comic book now. So, if you want to pick them up, um, I got mine at Target. And I will say that he is definitely Redfire Ghost Rider tier. So, get him while you can. Uh, I don't know when this initially came out. The figure itself, probably 2020. This is 21, so you're not too far behind. And until next time, Hello Hunters, you should have stayed awake.